Hi, I'm Vitek from Refactory and today I'm going to show you how to set up dosing pumps X3 and X4. Dosing pumps X3 and X4 are devices for precise dosing of liquid supplements to marine aquariums. Thanks to the combination of top quality workmanship and modern technology, we get a reliable, precise and user-friendly device. Let's start with unpacking the device. In the dosing pump package you will find the main unit, dosing pump heads, dosing pump hoses, power supply unit, plugs for power supply unit, magnet for resetting the unit. Connect the power supply to the device. Insert the power cord into the tightly fitting socket. Make sure the cord is not loose. Then connect the power supply to the mains. The unit will start and the dosing pump power indicator light will illuminate at the top. Mount the dosing pump in a convenient place and insert the twist and lock pump heads. Remove the black plugs from the ends of the hose and insert the cut hose. The length of the hose should not exceed 2 meters as this may affect the precision of dosing. Put the ends into the container with the fluid and the sump. The liquid is taken from the right hose and poured from the left one. We can configure the device using a browser on your computer, laptop, tablet or smartphone. To do this, open the list of available devices on your wireless Wi-Fi network, then search for and connect to the network with the corresponding serial number on the device. The serial number can be found on the back of the device and on the packaging. The pattern of the serial number is an abbreviation of the company name, the name of the device and a string of 12 digits. A password is required to connect to the device network. The standard password is refactory, all lowercase and no spaces. If, when connecting to the device's Wi-Fi network, you get a message that you cannot access the internet, select connect anyway. Using the same device, open the web browser and enter dosingpump.io in the web address field. If this message appears on the screen after you have entered the correct web address, this means that the connection to the device has not been established and that the connection to your home internet network is still active. Remember that during the direct connection to the device's Wi-Fi network and the initial configuration, your phone or computer will lose access to the internet. Remember, refactory devices support 2.4 GHz networks only. Configure the device in five easy steps. Step 1. Select the language you wish to use when operating the device. Step 2. Set the amount of the selected liquid the pump is to dose in a day, the number of cycles in which it is to do this, and the time at which it is to start the first dosing. Based on this information, the pump will automatically calculate the size and frequency of doses. Dosing pump has an accuracy of plus minus 0.1 of a milliliter and the minimum recommended dosage is 0.3 of a milliliter. Dosing rate is 25 milliliters per minute and the maximum number of doses is 24 per day. Step 3. Connect the device to your home Wi-Fi network. Point the appropriate network and enter the password. When the dosing pump successfully connects to your Wi-Fi network, you will see the IP address assigned to your device in the left upper corner of the screen. This is information that the connection to the Wi-Fi network has been successful. Step 4. Log into the Smart Reef system by entering your username and password or if you haven't got one yet, select create a free account. Step 5. Congratulations, the device configuration process has been completed. Click and to complete the configuration process. Pay attention to the icons in the right upper corner of the screen. There should be green icons next to the Wi-Fi and Smart Reef icons indicating a valid connection. If a red exclamation mark appears next to either of these icons, it means the device has lost connection with the Wi-Fi or Smart Reef system. From now on, you can control your device via Smart Reef app or at reefactory.com. Once setup is complete, remember to disconnect your phone, tablet or computer from your device's Wi-Fi network and connect to your home network to regain the internet access. 
Before the first use, it is necessary to calibrate the pumps. To do this, go to the pump details view by clicking on a device in the device list in your app or at refactory.com device panel. You will find the device calibration function at the bottom of the screen. Calibration is essential to accurately dispense the correct amount of liquids. Insert the water hose into the liquid container and click fill the circulation. Make sure that there are no air bubbles along the entire length of the hose and that the hose is not bent. Once the circuit has been filled, we can proceed to the calibration process. Before calibration, prepare the container into which the fluid will be poured during the process. You can use scales for this, but in some cases we will need to know the density of the fluid being pumped to calculate the volume. During calibration, the unit will run the pump for 60 seconds and then automatically turn it off. Then you need to determine how much liquid has been added to the prepared container during this time and enter the number of milliliters of liquid pumped into the pop-up window. Repeat the above steps for all dosing heads. In the last calibration step, you need to enter the time after which the device will remind you to carry out another calibration. You will receive a reminder in the form of a notification from Smart Reef. The amount of liquid added is displayed at the top of the screen, right in the middle. Manual dosing function allows users to increase or decrease the fluid dosage once or repeatedly. For example, you have established a dosing schedule of 6 ml of fluid per day divided into 6 cycles of 1 ml and you plan to increase or decrease the dose by 3 ml. After increasing the daily dose by 3 ml, the pump will dispense a total of 9 ml of fluid per day in 6 cycles of 1.5 of a milliliter. After decreasing the daily dose by 3 ml, the pump will dispense a total of 3 ml of fluid per day in 6 doses. When the Now option is selected, the device will immediately refill the set amount of fluid. Additional functions. In the central part of the screen, there is information about the liquid level in the container from which the liquid is taken. Thanks to this function, the user can control amount of the remaining liquid and order its supply in due time. The edit option allows the user to manually configure the size of the fluid container and the amount of fluid currently in it. When the fluid level in the container reaches 10% of the volume, the device will inform you by sending a reminder from the Smart Reef app. By clicking the blue Show More button, you can view your dosing history. In the top right corner of the screen, you will find additional advanced dosing functions through which you can specify the number of daily doses and the amount of fluid to be dosed. Based on this information, the pump will automatically calculate and set dosing times and indicate the percentage of the dose in relation to the planned daily fluid dose. Edit. This allows you to change, add, delete, increase or decrease the scheduled doses. Skip next dose. This function enables you to skip or reduce the next scheduled dose. Enter a percentage value between 1 and 100 to reduce the dose. A value of 100 means skip the next dose. If you don't want to enter the skip next dose function, press delete the next dose button in the dosing menu. Export. This function allows you to export the configuration of your pump, including programmed doses, to a file, so you can easily archive the configuration file in case you need to reset the device or share it with another user. Import. This function allows you to import your pump's configuration, including programmed dose, from a file so you can easily restore your pump's settings after a reset or import the settings from another user. It may happen that you forget the password to connect to the device or you want to configure it again. In such a case, you need to reset the device to the factory settings. To do this, you need to attach the magnet included in the set to the upper part of the dosing pump housing where the word reset is located. Remember that after restoring the device to the factory settings, you have to configure it again. That's all for dosing pump configuration. If we still haven't answered all your questions, please contact our support team via email 
support at refactory.com or via the support tab on refactory.com. If you found this video useful, leave us a thumb up and subscribe to our channel for more content and join our Refactory family community on Facebook. See you there.